Hey, welcome back everyone. Toysh is here and I'm back yet again with yet another DC Multiverse. It's Batman related. It's not Batman exactly, but even I'm getting to that point where I'm like, yeah, it's, it's all Batman. But today it's a little bit different because we have Batwing. See, you change the wing for man, you get a different character. Huh? Smart thinking. Batwing hails from Batman Incorporated. He's a little bit Iron Man. He's a little bit Cyborg. And he's just uh, basically slapped with the bat emblem, right? The artwork on the back of the box, that's not going to match the character we're getting in the box. This is more the look that we've got for the action figure. Here's the barcode for when they start to hit store shelves. Look for Batwing in and around, let's say, the middle of July. Give or take, right? Of course. So... In either case, this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is an early advanced look at the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse straight from Batman Incorporated, Batwing. And of course, here's everything taken out of the packaging. Comes with a few accessories, allows a little bit of a customizable look, if that be your thing. I do like that he's coming with... Some energy effects and whatnot, that's always fun. Those plug into the bottom of his feet. They plug in snugly, so they're not going anywhere. And you can kind of get him hovering, flying around, you get the idea. But you're going to have to provide your own flight stand because they didn't give you one in the box. And this is the type of figure where you definitely need a flight stand because he's a flying character. But I do like these jet booster effects. Same with the rocket effect on the backpack. It's nice blue. It simply fits right into his wingy backpack right there. And it looks good. You can flip it, turn it, do whatever you like. The Batwings backpack itself. In the comics, you look at it, it's largely just black. McFarlane has seemingly added a little bit more texture, some more design to it, which I don't mind but as you can see from the arts, yeah, they're usually just flat black. It does give it a little bit more detail. I would have preferred more flat on the front side of the wings and more of the cybernetics on the back. They're very flimsy, though. That's the thing. It gives it a very cheapy feel. They are not very rigid at all. Dare I see, they're a little junky, right? And I hate to say that, but that's how it kind of comes across. Even though the sculpt is there... But when you take rocket boot effects and you get the backpack effect and you install the backpack with the wings on his back, you get him into some flight poses. He looks pretty cool, not going to lie, but it don't have a flight stand. So that's the big glaring omission. With the actual figure itself, oh yeah, we still got to talk about that. Like the wings, he's very cheapy feeling because he's just largely a silver-ish bluish plastic. There's not a whole heck of a lot of paint going on. He does have a lot of sculpted details, which that's what we like to see with our action figures. He has more of an implied sort of shading to him. The colors that they've mixed together doesn't really break it up except for the emblem on his chest. And then you have the paint for his face and everything else that gives a little bit more depth to what you're kind of looking at. Because otherwise... He's just all one color. He does have a lot of articulation, though. More so than you would think. More that I would have liked to have seen on the recent Nightfall Batman, to be quite honest with you. Of course, they give it to Batwing. You can get him looking up. He's got plenty of rotation in the abs and the legs and the double joints, and you get the idea. He moves around quite nicely. Everything's pretty solid. Nothing is loose. I mean, heck, you can even get him sitting... So it works out articulation-wise, if you are a stickler for that, the rubber diapery piece meshes well with the figure. It's very large, so it doesn't really form fit, but you can pose him in a lot of different ways. So while it may come across as like, I don't really care for the figure, I don't care for the figure in terms of what they've done with the paint. He looks cheap. He looks like, yeah, yeah, kind of kind of done a little bit more with this, especially when they put the wings and, like I said, the rubber diaper. It works, but it doesn't do him any favors. It gets very bunched up. You go ahead, you install the wings. They simply just clip on. They stay in there. They're nice and snug. And, yes, you can get him into a variety of poses. So he does look good in that sense, but, again... 
It's not very exciting. There's all this detail, all this armor all over him, but it's just largely a cluster of what am I looking at exactly here? I do like that they installed articulation in the wings. I do like that you can remove the wings. So there are good things to be said about this figure, but then largely again, he's kind of humdrumish, right? Unfortunately, if you were looking in terms of the scalature for Batwing, whether or not you have the Blue Hush Batman or you have the new Nightfall Batman, he is a nice scaled sized figure to fit in with your various Batmans, depending on which one you choose, or really any of the Bat family. So from Batgirl to Nightwing to Signal and Robin, he fits in there nicely. I think he's a nice height. He's armored up. He could be a little bit beefier. Although in the comics, he looks to be a lot more sleeker. You know what I mean? But hey, he doesn't really always translate well to plastic. He's a okay figure. He's going to be one that, unless you're a huge Batwing fan, I would say he's largely a pass. He has some good things going for him, but he has a lot of stuff in the sense of at this point with McFarlane Toys, I would like a little bit more paint to it. It's kind of a mixed bag. That's all I'm going to say. So, curious to know your guys' thoughts. As always, comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Batwing. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, coming up, we are going to be fighting the Frozen. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. 